You heard of that market crash in 29? I predicted that. Oh, yes, how did you do that, Stop? Oh, simple. I was nursing a director of General Motors. Kidney ailment, they said. Nerves, I said. And I asked myself, what's General Motors got to be nervous about? Overproduction, I says. Collapse. When General Motors has to go to the bathroom ten times a day, the whole country's ready to let go. Oh, Stella, in economics, a kidney ailment has no relationship to the stock market, none whatsoever. Crash, didn't it? I can smell trouble right here in this apartment. First you smash your leg, then you get to looking out the window, see things you shouldn't see, trouble. I can see you in court now, surrounded by a bunch of lawyers in double-breasted suits. You're pleading. You say, judge, it was only a little bit of innocent fun. I love my neighbors like a father. And the judge says, well, congratulations. You've just given birth to three years in Danamora. Yeah, right now, I'd welcome trouble, you know. You've got a hormone deficiency. How can you tell from a thermometer? Those bathing beauties you've been watching haven't raised your temperature one degree in a month. Here we go. One more week. You know, I think you're right. I think there is going to be trouble around here. I knew it. Oh, do you, do you ever heat that stuff? Gives your circulation something to fight. Oh, I see. What kind of trouble? Lisa Fremont. You kidding? She's a beautiful young girl, and you're a reasonably healthy young man. She expects me to marry her. That's normal. I don't want to. What's abnormal? Oh, I just, I'm not ready for marriage. Every man's ready for marriage when the right girl comes along. And Lisa Fremont is the right girl for any man with half a brain who can get one eye open. Oh, she's all right. Did you do have a fight? No. Is father loading up the shotgun? What? Please, Stella. It's happened before, you know. Some of the world's happiest marriages have uh, started under the gun, as you might say. No, she's just not the girl for me. Yeah, she's only perfect. She's too perfect. She's too talented. She's too beautiful. She's too sophisticated. She's too everything but what I want. Is um, what you want something you can discuss? Well, well, it's very simple, Stella. She belongs to that rarefied atmosphere of Park Avenue, you know, expensive restaurants and then the literary cocktail parties. People with sense belong wherever they're put. Can you imagine her tramping around the world with a camera bum who never has more than a week's salary in the bank if, if she was only ordinary? You never gonna get married? Well, I'll probably get married. When I do, it's gonna be to someone who thinks of life not just just as a new dress and a lobster dinner and the latest scandal. I need a woman who's willing to, hold it, who's willing to go anywhere and do anything and love it. So the honest thing for me to do is just call the whole thing off, let her find somebody else. Yeah, I can hear you now. Get out of my life, you perfectly wonderful woman. You're too good for me. 